Guys, the damage in St. Martin is absolutely horrific. Um, I've been following this hurricane just like many of you have over the last several days and it's finally making an impact um, on some islands. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these places are poverty stricken. Uh, as you can see from this photo, you know, these houses aren't the most uh, well built homes. And um, there's just a couple of videos here, like uh, like this one. Where you can really just see the damage. I mean, like this looks kind of like a high-end resort almost here, um, apartment or a hotel or something. And you got flooding coming in the front, all across the lobby. Um, one of the quotes up here, you know, this guy's talking about palm trees are bent over and he can't see anything. Um, this is supposedly the most powerful hurricane um, ever recorded. Um, definitely the most powerful one in my lifetime and I'll be really interested to see what it does uh, as it gets closer to Florida and more importantly uh, how we respond to it as a nation and what the um, Hurricane Jose or Tropical Storm Jose or whatever one is falling right behind it is gonna do once this one starts to kind of curve out of the way I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to like a NASCAR race at Daytona or Talladega, uh, but you got these cars, you know, driving around that track at the same speed that the winds are blowing in the storm. And what we sometimes forget is that air, even on a still day, air has mass. I mean, that's why we can fly. We air has mass, so. When you have 180 mile an hour winds, I can only imagine it's like getting hit in the face with a constant wall. Uh, you add some water to that and it just becomes even more dense. The only way out for a lot of these people was, uh, you know, with airplanes. And they quit flying out of there several days ago. So anyone that's there now is stuck. It's it's not like you're in the Florida Keys and you can take Highway 1 or whatever it is and, and cruise out of Florida. Uh, these people are stuck there. And I just hope that the flooding 
and the winds don't get so bad that uh, they're, they're just trapped. How crazy is that? That'd be horrifying. And these winds wrap around like a hundred, like 175 miles, you know? So for hours, you just have these sustained winds that are kicking your ass. Alright guys, we're live. Peeping through a bathroom window. This is just a little piece of what's going on. All my coconut tree is on a lean. I would not be surprised if Puerto Rico were to get hammered and not be able to, you know, recover. Um, and then we have the democratic states uh, in the United States, you know, trying to bring them in as the 51st state. Um, but politics aside, you know, there's people suffering here today. And uh, very soon, I think people in Florida will be suffering as well. So I, I hope that the damage can be mitigated and be minimized for many people on the East Coast.